Speaking of science, it's time for science on WTOL Live in Your Day. And how about some optical illusions? Ooh. Well, Jeff is here from Imagination Station to kind of blow our minds as usual. Oh, yes, of course. So um, I just want to talk about how science is everywhere around us today. Oh, okay? for sure. So um, one of my favorite uh, things is coffee. I don't know if you're a big okay. coffee drinker. I'm not, but not a, a lot of drinker? people are. Okay, so. So, so a lot of you at home may notice that um, when you go to get a coffee, they give you like those little hot sleeves mm -hmm. to keep you from burning your hand. But um, I can't remember, remember the names that start with like Fenty, Grande, Largo, <laughs> Super, I mean, Super Largo, Grande. Largo, Largo's for sure. Yeah, Largo's. Sure so I, I usually get Largo's. Um, Largo's <laughs> is his favorite. But what right. I hate is, if I can get an overhead here, um, what I hate is when I, I go and I get a large coffee, but I grab the small coffee sleeve, oh. right? Okay. You know, like so you're holding like the bottom of the cup. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I end up burning myself, yeah. right? So you probably didn't know this, but thanks to some really cool science, Starbucks has actually made these stretchable. Okay, so if, do, if you want to help me out here, okay. what, what we can do is, so you can see I've got I've got like two different sizes here. Yeah, you do. Um, and what, what what I want you to do is, can you can you stretch this one here? Can like I just kind of like. Yeah, kind of rub and stretch, stretch it. it while it's folded. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While it's folded, and then what you'll notice is that we're actually able to pull it down here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You got that's it. Good. Okay. See, and now now it's a large one. See. Hey. See, see, yeah, yeah. You. So you can just like stretch these out. All right, and then you can get them larger. Look, I, I can go yeah. in, I can go infinitely larger here. Uh huh. Isn't that isn't that I cool? Don't, I don't believe you. You don't sir. believe? Okay, all right, all right. So you might <laughs> you might be right. These yeah. are actually all the exact same size. Ah, there you go. So, okay. But what our brain does is it plays a little trick on us. When we see them together, stacked on top of one another, I compare this larger arc to, to the, the smaller, smaller arc. Yeah. But if you actually line them up upside down, they're actually the same size on both sides. Well, right on top of each other. Yeah, for sure. So this is a fun little trick, especially if you have like younger siblings. So oh. you, can, you can have the ever growing banana. You know, because oh, okay. two bananas yeah. will do a very similar <laughs> thing. Like, so oh, if you wow, get two bananas the same size, you can be like, getting larger gonna... and larger, stretch, stretch. Yes, exactly. Oh, so well, that's fun. And a little mean, but mostly fun. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Science can be a little mean sometimes. Right, that's right, okay. A little bit, uh, a little bit. So that's a really fun trick. But um, there's optical optical illusions with us um, all around. All so, over the place. So I've got this um, one here. Wow, this looks fancy. Yeah, this this is a bit of a fancy setup, and I, hopefully they can zoom in to be able to see this. But I have a question for you. Do you see this Rubik's cube thing here? Yes, cube of sorts. This color right here. What what color is it? Mmm, like a brownie green. Brown, brownie green, okay. And then what about this one? Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to assume a brownie green, but it appears uh, yellow. It appears yellow. <laughs> and what about this one? That all appears like a brownie green. Okay. So they end up, and I'm going to try to get it so that um, they, you know, they, we don't get too much glare. So we're looking at this top middle one yep. and this middle one right here. But if you actually put, if you take away all the other colors, you'll be able to notice that all of them are, in fact, the same the color. The same color. So I'll, I'll remove this, and you should see that it looks Kind of, you can't really trust your brain. It's why we have it's why we have <laughs> science, yeah, right? To so that we can explain what we can't quite understand with our naked eye, almost. So I've got one of my favorite one of my favorite little experiments okay. here. All right, and this is a little bit of a test. I know you guys do a lot of reading on these teleprompters. That's true. Here. We do. So, we read a lot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a reading test. Who, okay. What I, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me the color. Of the, the ink. The color of the ink, ink. of the word. Okay. Color we got, of the We got three of these really quick. I'm going to go very slow. No, you need to go as fast as possible. This is, this, is okay. part of, this is part of the. All right, all right, all right. right you ready? All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'll, try, I'll try to face it so the audience can oh, see it as well. Oh, I see here, what you're doing to me. Here we go. Here we so, go. color of the ink. Red, yellow, green, blue, red, blue, yellow, green, blue, red. Okay, that was pretty quick. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. Well, you, but but this right. makes sense, right? Because yeah, red correct. is red. This is what Here we call we congruent conditions. Okay. So in which the color of the ink matches, matches. the color of the text. All right. So we're going to try it again. Ready? Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, this, this is what we call a neutral one. So good color of ink. Okay, green, blue, yellow, green, blue, red, green, blue. Red, green. Okay, okay. A, a teensy bit slower because you know you didn't you have that being support. Careful. I'm being you didn't careful. have that support. Okay, I'm we're very gonna do. Cautious. Well, all right, ready for this one? Oh no. All right, okay, here, we go. here we go. Go, go, go. Yellow, green, blue, red, green, yellow, blue, red, green, yellow. Oh, you did really well. Yeah. Wow, wow, excellent, thank excellent. Okay. That, that was great. Well, thank you. And you guys have a big event that's coming up in the next couple of weeks, right? That seems like a lot of fun. Um, we we do. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend okay. we have um, what's called the Nerdy Derby, Ooh. and it's like a pine Wood Derby with absolutely no, no rules. No rules. Yes. He so even told me you can make a cantaloupe. If you want to bring a cantaloupe and nail two, nail it? four wheels to it, we'll race that. We'll race that. Perfect. So. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for coming and trying to trick me. Science can be pretty cool. We've got more WTOL 11 Your Day. We're back in just a moment.